So I want everybody to just reflect a little bit um, that relationship, the important relationship in your life this moment. There are met, you might have some relationship that I've been talking about. You might not have relationship, some some of the other relationship that I'm talking about about it. Maybe maybe you wanted to pay attention to them. The most important thing is whatever relationship you have, you wanted to have, it's important to have in your journey. Most important thing is what kind of relationship you have. What kind of quality of relationship have? I talked about few. I will kind of narrow down them. A relationship to yourself, relationship to with your family and friends, and relationship to your spiritual brothers and sisters and your teacher, a sangha, community, and particularly your teacher. These all relationship matters a lot. And of course, you can, I'm not saying those you don't have one kind of relationship. I'm not saying, or everybody should have family. I'm not saying everybody should have a teacher. Or I'm not saying everybody should have kids. For sure, I'm not. And you probably, some of you will love kid and me. Yeah, you're right kid and you, probably you cannot imagine, maybe nobody can imagine. But if you do have family, if you do have a children, if you do have a sangha, if you do have a teacher, then what kind of relationship you have? People fail in many of these relationships. And of course, I'm not saying that if you fail some of this relationship, you should punish yourself. I'm not saying that. You can always, one can always say, I cannot do it. And I let go this time. And I hope next time I'll do better or next life I will do better. But at least you're conscious of what is important what you cannot do it, what is not, what you do, just don't have a capacity to maintain the relationship or to build that relationship. And, and nothing wrong about it. It's not to say punish yourself, but at least be aware. Divorce rate is very, very high, as we know in the West. Relationship between the teacher students breaks up all the time. Relationship between sanghas, members, community, spiritual communities, a lot of challenging. Relationship with one yourself, it's very challenging. But what most important relationship you have and what you're doing is you're focusing on a negative aspect of that relationship. You're focusing on the pain aspect of that relationship. You look at around the world, politicians, powerful people, famous people. When it comes down a relationship, everybody has a challenge. A lot of conflict. A lot of conflict. And these conflict sometimes not only caused by a few individuals, sometimes on a bigger scale, the confusion is not only one person, but it's affecting hundreds of thousands of people. Scary. On an individual level, you look at yourself. You're paying 
lot of attention what is not working. We get caught up. We just get caught up. We even sometimes don't know that's what we are doing. What you're doing is not really so bad, but what you when you're not aware of it, it's more risk. Because what does that mean? That means not being aware of what you're doing. You might stay there for a long, long time. You might keep on affecting yourself and others for a long, long time. But when you're aware, it's the beginning of change. So when you're aware, you don't, you don't say, oh, I feel so bad because I've been feeling like this, I've been doing like this. You can say, I feel so glad that I'm aware of I'm not doing the good thing. You can still be happy even if you're not doing the good thing because you're aware of you're not doing the good thing. Because it's truly, truly a beginning, truly a, a positive opening door for you. When you focus on awareness, not on the negativity. When you know how much it's draining you, you're beginning to heal. When you know how much it can heal, how, how much awareness can heal, that's the beginning. It's exactly the short meditation we just did. Just think about that short meditation. Maybe it was not, it was not that short, but just think about it, that whole meditation doing in five minutes or 10 minutes. We can do it. 10 minute meditation, we can do it. What, ha what can happen in during that 10 minute? You heal your soul, you heal somebody else's soul. You drain less yourself, you're not creating more pain in somebody. But you, not only you're not creating pain in somebody, but you are a, playing a very clear and active role in helping other people also. You're trying to help somebody. As you're trying to help yourself, you're trying to help somebody. You're able to help somebody. You have power to help somebody. And you are helping somebody. You're helping your father. You're helping your mother. You're helping your brother, sister. Even you're helping your teacher. You're helping the Sangha. You're helping everybody in many different ways. So just let's talk about a little bit. We are running out of time. Let's talk a little bit about the formal and informal practices. And last time, last month, we talked a little bit about doing uh, inner refuge practices for half an hour every day. So if you are following that, if you are doing a formal practices in a refuge for half an hour every day, then maybe you might want to increase. You do a 45 minute or one hour, that one way of increasing it, or you can do, uh, you know, a twice half an hour, or you can do a half an hour, continue, do two another 15 minute sessions, whatever feels more manageable. But you know that every time when you do, you feel great. You feel peaceful. You feel grounded. You feel the qualities, healthy qualities of the element instead feeling unhealthy, more excess of the elements. So that will be a formal practices. The informal practices will be, I think it's very important to pay attention that as during the meditation, I, as I was guiding, I said, 
you're listening to the noise silence is there but you choose the noise peace is there but you choose the conflict openness is there but you choose the block joy is there but you choose the pain you are constantly choosing something that you don't want you we are conditioned we are driven and we are draining it's more informal practices very much trying to be aware in your relationship with other relationship which matters to you whoever what whatever that kind whatever kind of relationship that is in this moment in your life it matters to you which is not helping you but is draining you whenever it's draining you be conscious be conscious whenever it's draining you be conscious at least drain less not drain benefit from that relationship because that relationship it's important relationship for you so being constantly conscious of that in everyday life while you're walking eating going to work working so that is like informal uh, practices